Good morning, everybody. We'll go ahead and get started. Um, sorry, we're a couple minutes late. Y'all know how I'm about time about getting these meetings started on time and ended on time. So we're going to get started. Um, just really want to tell everybody, thanks for jumping on. This thing continues to go every month, and we see different faces and different names, and um, hopefully we're getting our message across the state of what's going on with your state firefighter association. Um, Carter Jones, I got you on the agenda first, sir. Yes, sir. I've got a little bit of history if you want to step back in time with me. This week back in 1850, I found in Camden Weekly Journal a very articulate acclamation for the Camden Independent Fire Engine Company. Uh, it goes back to that old saying that Chief Croker with the New York Fire Department said back in 1911, I have no ambition but one, and that is to be a firefighter. But this one was back in 1850, and it said, we're pleased to see this old and valuable company is again reviving. The efficient service rendered by bygone days by this company entitles it to our warmest thanks and kind of <coughs> consideration. The task of a fireman is not an easy one, often risking life and limb to rescue or save a neighbor's property from destruction. He shows as much true magnanimity and patriotism as he would to meet the enemy of his country upon the battlefield. The claims of the fireman are not always sufficiently appreciated. Some persons regard the service as a mere evasion of law and an exemption from militia or patrol duty. It is not so. The fireman earns his commutation. We are thankful that the services of our fire company have not been required for a length of time past and hope they may not be required to exhibit their efficiency for time to come. That's 172 years ago from the city of Canada. <coughs> Then about the same time in 1901, I found that the King Street Fire Department was organized under the King Street Hook and Ladder Company Number One. I also found that the town was slow to make needed equipment purchases, but operated for a number of years with a bucket brigade and rudimentary tools. And then two stories, three stories actually, the first is found in the Herald News of Newberry, and it reported on a destructive fire in Chiraw, burning to the ground several large stores in the business section. Then four years later this week, in 1909, the Bamberg Herald noted that one of the biggest fires in Chiraw has had in years broke out at William Godfrey's extensive lumber plant. This is what's interesting. This was one of the largest mills in the country, about a block in length, and the one which furnished most of the lumber for the new Union Station in Washington, D.C. And then the final story that I thought was interesting was uh, this week in 1916. It seems that a committee from Chiraw were in Charlotte to witness a demonstration and some tests by the American LaFrance Fire Apparatus Company. They were there to view and possibly purchase an auto truck with pumping capabilities. One of those attending was Fire Chief M.C. Thomas. You know who this is? It was the grandfather of Captain Mac Thomas of the Rock Hill Fire Department. Hmm. So that's my step back in time. As always, Carter, thank you so much for that history. It's always interesting to listen to that. Malcolm, you're up next on the agenda, sir. Uh, good morning, everybody. 
I came in out of rush. We just came from a, a, a dump truck fire. So my, my apologies if I've seen a, a little frazzled, I am. Uh, just real quickly wanted to talk about uh, one of the big, uh, big things going on in the state house is um, the, the changes that there, that is being proposed, and I'm trying to pull up the bill number, being proposed to the V-SAFE grant, the state state grant. Uh, as you know, it is a competitive process currently uh, between the volunteers and mostly volunteer departments in the state. And uh, there is a house bill out there that will, that will change it dramatically to where uh, basically uh, any volunteer, mostly volunteer department that applies sends in this letter and, and will we'll get funded. Instead of it being competitive, they'll take the amount of money that's uh, set aside for the grant and um, divide it up evenly, which uh, to me is fantastic. I, I know uh, a, a lot of times having gone through the process myself uh, in a smaller department, it was, it was kind of daunting. Uh, and, and at some point uh, in the current way that it's written, uh, we'll run out of people that can put in for it just because the, the time delay from the time you're awarded to you can apply again. So uh, I think it's a fantastic thing. Um, I've been trying to keep an eye on it uh, this week, um, if you've got some time and you want to log into the uh, to the state house and, and watch some of the videos and, and look at some of the uh, discussions going on about different things, I've, I've been trying to catch some of the fire stuff. Haven't been lucky enough to get it, but um, we do have out on our on our website in the advocacy tab. Advocacy tab, uh, we we keep the uh, weekly updates that we receive from uh, Chief and Cindy and stick that out there for everybody to look at. Um, it, Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, I, I I haven't been over the years uh, in my 54 years on earth uh, being been that interested in what goes on in the state house, but I can tell you it's very very interesting. And, and if you get time to to sit and watch, especially when they're talking about things that directly affect the fire service, uh, I'd encourage you to do so. Uh, but just quick quick on that. I uh, appreciate the time. Glad to see uh, so many of you are, are logging into these. Um, ambassador meetings i think it's important that that we share these i think it's <clears throat> great little blast out of some information and and we appreciate your participation in uh, that's all i have mr president thank you malcolm and miss brooke has put in the chat section um a link to the um <laughs> if anybody is interested in um, looking at that it's in the chat section here in the, in the zoom call training education chair mr terry sheriff Good morning, everyone. Uh, just a few updates on the Fire Service Improvement Conference that we held in March. We had 12 classes that were offered and 168 students that attended. Uh, fantastic time. We had lots of good comments uh, about the classes that were held and also future classes that uh, our firefighters would like to hold. Um, we're, we'll be working on next year's training and uh, the next year's uh, fire service improvement conference, hopefully. Um, another information is the Fire Officer Academy, May 16th through the 20th, uh, that is being hosted by the Officer Sections Association, along with partners with the Firefighter, our Fire Academy. So uh, we have um, that coming up also uh, here in May. Last but not least, uh, Fire Rescue, June 8th through the 11th. Uh, just a few things is uh, please go to the website. Uh, there's registration open for the conference. Uh, you will not be able to register for each individual class. It's just registering for the, the conference uh, in general. Um, the classes are first come, first serve. So if you uh, have a instructor or certain classes that you would like to attend, make sure you're there early and, and get grab a seat. Uh, the other thing is the golf tournament. Uh, please look at that and uh, go on the website, look around uh, and make sure that you're, you're looking at the classes. Uh, uh, Rick has done a fantastic job of setting up the the uh, website to set up where you can follow a, a instructor or look at other classes and it tells you uh, when it's offered and during the week. Hotels, like uh, we keep saying, is we're competing with the country music uh, festival. So hotels are being, uh, there's few and far between, but if you also, again, go to the website down under Neath uh, hotels and everything, there's a lot of different areas, um, BR, BO, and uh, different types of 
areas to rent and everything. So please go there. there there's a whole list of different places there. Also too, uh, if you wanna see kind of the behind the scenes of what's going on at Fire Rescue, we're uh, opening up for volunteers. So if you wanna come up there and uh, volunteer, we, we would love to have you uh, to get um, all the help we can get. Finally, uh, you should be looking for a, um, a test email coming up for fire rescue as far as voting for fourth vice president. So please make sure um, your voting members that are registered as voting members, uh, you should be getting a test email uh, here coming up pretty soon. So um, just watch your email and also to um, sure we will send out a blast to let you know that it's gone out because uh, I know there's uh, sometimes emails go to spam and everything, but we'll keep everybody updated with that. Um, that's all I have, Mr. President. Thank you, Terry. Um, thank you for the work y'all doing. Um, guys and gals, we're looking for a lot of fun times at Myrtle Beach this year. Got a lot of great things happening. A lot of the same things we used to in the past, but a lot of new things. Um, Trey and the foundation have got a wonderful um, uh, their staff and group have got a wonderful golf tournament coming up. Um, I think it's probably, hopefully, it's going to be one of the best we've ever had. I know they've worked very hard on that. A lot of nightly events, family events. So, love to see everybody there um, and, and get back to the beach and, and have a good time. Next on the agenda is Ms. Serena Harmon on the um, cancer policy. Thank you, Chief. Um, this is just a reminder that uh, the cancer program uh, was passed uh, back in July 1st of 2021. So if you are eligible or feel that you are or know anybody that is, please visit scfirefighterscancer.com. Uh, that is where it will walk you step by step through the process. Um, it is a benefit of a one time benefit of $20,000 upon initial diagnosis. There is a $12,000 reimbursement annually for out-of-pocket expenses and a $75,000 death benefit in the event somebody does pass away from the result of cancer or circumstances that arise out of cancer. But the, um, the website truly walks you through the law. It walks you through eligibility requirements and how to file that claim. And so we feel that it is um, fairly user-friendly. And once you submit that, that does go to our office and we will then call you all to walk you through the rest of the process. Um, so if you have any questions at any time, please feel free to call myself or Marcia and we will uh, try to help you in any way we can. Thank you. Thank you, Zarina. This is Patty Graham, SC Fast. Good morning, everybody. We've got a lot of training coming up that we're super excited about. Um, our class at the conference is going to be, um, I, I think, one that everybody will enjoy. Um, we're going to talk about trauma and the brain, how it affects the brain, how the brain can heal, and then just different ways to recognize signs and symptoms in yourself and in your um, coworkers, family, pretty much anybody. Um, working on 16-hour, uh, the peer training in Marlboro County, Berkeley County. We'll have one in Greenville um, in September and then in Beaufort County as well. Um, and again, we'd love to bring one to your county. Just let us know and we'll get it on our books. Um, two things coming up, two other things coming up. The August 26th and 27th will be at the Fire Academy with the Behavioral Health Symposium. This will be the second year that we've partnered with the Fire Academy on this, and we are really excited, um, expecting more <laughs> this year. Um, we've got some good speakers we're getting lined up to come in. And then um, in September, we're gonna have a clinician academy. For those of you who've been to a clinician, uh, mental health clinician, it might be kind of rocky sometimes, but what we're wanting to do is offer them a hands-on training experience. So when we do go in there to get help, when we've worked that courage up, we go in to get help, we um, know that they know a little more about us and what we do. So that's all I have, Mr. President, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Patty. Um, that is what I have on the agenda as far as officially. Joe, you or staff, any have anything that you'd like to, to, to get out? Uh, 
One of the things we'll add to the uh, fire service improvement conference conversation is just a thank you to all of the partners that we had as far as financing and, and uh, working with a lot of our events. We, we, we Terry did an excellent job of describing how fire service improvement conference went. And I just would tag on with him a big thank you because without a lot of those uh, the financial support and the presence of a lot of those partners, uh, that, uh, that certainly, that event wouldn't have been the same. So we would like to say thank you for a lot of those individuals. And uh, a lot of th exciting things are happening around the association right now. And we encourage you just to, whether it's through social media or whether it's through our website or coming here in person, we'd love to get you involved in what's going on. We've got a lot of good things happening. Thank you, sir. Rick or Ashley, got anything? No, sir. Okay. Thank you. I will tell you, if you have not opened your little chat bar on the right hand side, Ms. Brooke has put a lot of links whether it be the cancer policy, SC FAST, um, events, training, fire rescue, pictures from fire improvement, um, all that's there for the links. If you need, want to go in and look at those, love to see you go kind of look around and see what's going on. Like, like, like Joe said, and like other people said, a lot of good things going on, a lot of good things coming up. So look forward to seeing people and really look forward to seeing everybody at the beach. I think we're going to have a great time and a great conference. So if no one else has anything good for the group, we are actually very good on time today, 11 minutes ahead of schedule from my clock. So um, I do appreciate everybody's time. I hope everybody has a safe week and look forward to seeing you on our next ambassador. Call. Thank you, sir.